Tripp here with Boat Test, and I want to present to you the new Aquila 47 Molokai, where top engineering, high performance, and luxury all come together to create this ultimate fishing power catamaran. The owner of this hole number one opted for a quad 450Rs. Standard package is going to be dual 600s with options all the way up to quad 500Rs. Looking at these 450Rs, let's go run it and see how she does. She has a length overall of 49 foot 4 inches and a beam of 14 foot 7 inches. But of course, most of that beam is out of the water, which is what makes cats so fast. All right, let's see how she performs. We got some good sporty weather out here today. And we're going head on in these seas. And generally, your boat may not enjoy this very much, but I know this boat enjoys this. Maybe not as much as I do. So we have some white caps out here. We're bouncing, rolling a little bit as we get up to eh, 40, a little over 40 mile an hour. I'm going to trim her up a little bit, reduce that drag. All right, cruising just at 50 now. One thing I really like is it's so quiet in here. There's not a lot of wind noise as we come up to 50, 53. Everything's quiet. There's no holes slapping and banging. So now let's come about a little bit. One thing I learned today, trim my inside. Whoop! Hold on, boys. Trim the inside. But see, we just got airborne and we are good to go. I'm going to trim my inboard motors up as I make this turn. Nothing to it. Now we're going to cheat and go downwind a little bit. You're not even worried about the sea state. You're just running wherever you want to go. Point it, give it the fuel, and she just soaks it up. Now let's get to the performance numbers of the Molokai 47. This boat carries 1,048 gallons of fuel, which is almost unheard of in this size and class of boat. On test day, we carried a 58% fuel load and 52% of our 80 gallon water capacity and had three people aboard. We calculated our test weight as being 27,063 pounds. She was powered by Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs turning 23 pitch Rev4 XP props. At 5700 RPM, that 1800 horsepower drove the Molokai 47 to a top speed of 69.6 miles an hour. Best Cruise came at 4,000 RPM where she went 42.6 miles an hour, burning 64.7 gallons per hour. This equates to 0.7 miles per gallon, which is very good for this size and horsepower boat. At that speed, she has a range of 621 statute miles thanks to her remarkable fuel capacity. It means not only can she get out 100 miles to the canyons and back in a hurry, but when cruising, she can cover a remarkably long distance on a single fill up. The Molokai 47 likes to go fast, and at 4,500 RPM, she gained 10 miles an hour, and at 5,000 RPM, she was going 61.2 miles an hour. At 3,500, she went 28.2 miles an hour. Her whole shot times were also impressive. We recorded 0 to 20 miles an hour in 4.6 seconds, and 0 to 30 miles an hour in 8.1 seconds. Having run our performance trials, let's now take a quick look at the operational features of the boat. Let's get a look at the mechanical aspects of this boat. Right here in the starboard mechanical build, first thing I notice, so much room. Aquila has given us generous access to all of our mechanical components down here. Everything from the power steering pump, fuel filters, fuel selector valve, our house batteries. And then over here, I like to see all of my outlets are labeled. Just behind me here, we have a full composite bulkhead, and beyond that, we have two starting batteries. And down here, I can't get over how much room there is. I've even been told to fit an eight-person life raft down here. Down in the port side, in the mechanical locker, we find all of our plumbing components. We have our sea chest right here to keep all of your live wells and stuff pressurized while you're underway. No worries about that. And then all of your other pumps, fresh water tank, are found down here as well. Now, Kila is traditionally known for their luxury line of boats, but you can look right in here and see how they are stepping up their game and getting into a more fishing capable vessel. Under our second row seating, we find our optional lithium battery bank. This enables you to run your AC all night long if you're on the hook. Now, let's check out the helm. 
Immediately what catches my eye are these dual 24 inch screens. And you can also option for three 19 inch screens here. Here we have a nice glove box. A little farther, we have our sea zone controls, which is a great spot to control everything within the boat. But also you can do that on your Raymarine screens or up here with tactile buttons. Just below our Raymarine screens, can't help but notice the AC vents here. Great for the hot days when maybe stagnant, the wind's not blowing too much. Center line, we find our control panel for our RGB lighting around our hardtop. Good substantial wheel here with a suicide knob, very handy. Then we have our joystick here, which can make uh, even the most amateur captain look like a salty captain. And then our mercury controls as well. Bringing my gaze upward, Notice we have a binnacle compass mounted center line with the helmsman. And of course we have fantastic viewing all the way around. Above, we have hooker electric controls for our live wells. And these have variable speed for your live wells as well. We have our fusion head unit, then all of our tactile controls and our VHF radio. Up on the bow, we have three lockers dedicated to ground tackle. On the starboard side, we have our windlass complete with the remote, which is also operational from the helm. But we also have our chain locker over here on the starboard side. They put it over here because a lot of our tankage is on the port side and that just helps balance things out. In the center locker is a pulley, which allows our road to do a 90 so our anchor can deploy center line of the boat. Port locker contains a freshwater rinse. There are a total of 10 inch cleats around the boat. Four along the bow, two at the stern, and four along the sides for spring lines. That's our performance and mechanical evaluation of a Keyless 47 Molokai. If you'd like to see some more of the features and amenities aboard, we have a separate video on that. I'm Captain Tripp with Boat Test. Remember, life's better on a boat.